What's up everybody? Welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. So this is basically a pre-surgery update. I'm gonna be doing surgery or having surgery in about another 24 hours here. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning right now. And um, I chose not to work out today so that I'm not swollen up or anything. I did work out on Monday but I only did legs. So I didn't do any back or biceps or anything like that. Especially since the uh, labrum is actually attached to your bicep. Uh, so you definitely don't want to work out prior to, at least that's my thinking. I didn't really ask the doctor on it. But I actually had a pre-surgery update with him yesterday. Really straightforward stuff, basically what we've talked about before. But I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea for those of you that are going into this surgery or those of you that are having a similar type of surgery, what to kind of expect um, with it. My doc is actually great. He's really cool. Um, so basically, here's what he said. Okay, so you go there, they start an IV, they sedate you, and then you get a block, so yeah. your arm's numb. Oh, like then you days. go to sleep. No, it only lasts for 24 hours. Yeah, it's like four days. Right. Mm -hmm. Then you go to sleep, you get three holes, one in the back, one in the side, one in the front. Yeah. Two bone spurs in the bucket, fix your labrum, stitches, bandage, sling. Take your sling off on Friday. Yeah. Friday, Saturday. Friday. Saturday. Your bandage Saturday. Oh, okay. Get yeah, sling stuff. Sling's gone on Friday, bandage is gone on Saturday. Do those stretches. The only extra thing, because your labor, which you already know, is don't fire your biceps hard, because that's what you're disconnected. Yeah. yeah. Risk to surgery, <laughs> bleeding. There isn't any. It's a little black and blue. Yeah. Fat. It's really freaking hard to get. Don't get one. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Cool. Did you yeah. go to therapy for the other one? I don't remember. Yeah, you sent me to therapy for a while, because I was in kind of Oh, yeah. Well, don't be lazy. I won't be there. All right. So, uh, Thursday morning, I mean, Wednesday, I can't even drink after midnight. Okay. Uh, oh, well, the bone spur, uh, the bone spur is what I'm feeling when, I, when you put pressure down. That should go away. Okay. All right, so basically what I'm talking about with the bone spurs is I want to know if I'm still going to be having pain when it comes down. I don't think I will, but he said I won't either. Um, and basically it's whenever I'm squatting and I have the bar on my shoulder. Um, it's not like a pain when it's on my shoulder or anything like that. It's more of a pain right in the area of where the injury is. So he thinks it's from the bone spur, I think so as well. Um, so he said that should go away. Um, so the big things are no food after midnight to today, which should be fairly easy since I do IF anyway. Um, no vitamins and um, basically can't flex my arm afterwards. And one of the risks, in case you guys didn't hear it, was uh, bleeding, which probably won't happen. Uh, what else? Infection, don't get one, it's pretty, I mean, the incisions are so small that I would doubt you could even really get one unless you were just dirty. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, and then that's pretty much it. And then what I wound up purchasing, and I'll probably do another video on this to kind of explain it to everybody, was uh, vitamin A. I, need, I wanted some vitamin A for some post-recovery stuff. Um, some glucosamine with uh, chondrodin. Chondrodin? Chondrodin? Chondrodin. Chondrodin. Don't know how to fucking say it. Um, and then I got some L-arginine because I didn't have any at Walmart and uh, some vitamin C and basically if you put all these together it's a, it's a good post-surgery um, injury like uh, speeds up your recovery a little bit and uh, the L-arginine obviously is for, uh, for, for ligaments and stuff uh, same thing for uh, the glucosamine or actually the L-arginine is more for like inflammation and stuff so Hopefully that kind of puts them together, and I'll probably do a separate video kind of explaining to you guys what each one actually does. Um, but basically, I can't take any of these. I actually had plans to take them before, and they said, no, don't take those. Um, I guess because there might be complications with, uh, like, bleeding out or anything. They just want to prevent all that stuff. And then afterwards, I'm down for, like, four days, pretty much, where, hell, the next day you can't do shit. <laughs> sure, that day you can't do shit. Next day, I really won't be able to do shit either, but I'll show you guys what it's going to be all about. I can still move my fingers though, right? So I'll probably be playing some Assassin's Creed. I already beat it, but I'll probably play some online. So if you guys want to play online, I'll put up my tagger name here, Rock1, R-O-C-1. Um, and it's on PS3. I only got PS3. I don't have Xbox. It's just it is what it is, man. And then um, I'll probably play some uh, some Call of Duty 2, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and uh, some uh, Battlefield 3. So I'll probably be playing that stuff online for like four days because I can still move my fingers, man. Still move my fingers. That's all you need. <laughs> oh, one more thing. On recording, I was kind of excited by this. So I'll kind of let, uh, let you guys hear my interaction with him so you guys can hear what he says. 
Let me record it. Just record the inside. That's Goodbye. all I need. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll fix that. <laughs> okay. Just in case, I don't know how to do it. Bring a blank uh, DVD, a blank uh, disc, in case they can burn it onto it. Yeah, I'll do it. Just bring one. Uh, we don't have to do it, but I can record it. I'm sure you can record it. Because if you take pictures, I know you can record it. Yeah. I just don't know how you burn it onto the thing. Oh. Okay. That's the issue. Oh. Okay. Just bring it in case they figure it out. Yes. Bye. Thanks, man. <laughs> so at first, when I first started talking to him, he was like, no, no, I don't want to do it. I think he was just being lazy. He, he didn't want to fucking figure out how to record it. He, wanted, he didn't want to show me that he's a little bit technologically um, not so savvy, but Craig's awesome. So he said, just bring in a couple DVDs and hopefully he can record it and they'll figure it out. So if I do get recordings of it, <clears throat> obviously I'll post it up, show you guys what the inside of a lit torn labor room looks like before and after. Um, it was actually some pretty cool pictures, and for the life of me, I can't find the other ones that I had. I need to probably go digging around in some of the old pictures that I have and old boxes and seeing if I can find it. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Again, got my surgery coming up. Hopefully everything goes well. Get the surgery knocked out. I should be out by probably noon from the hospital after being knocked out. And I try to up, um, take pictures and video along the way of me getting the surgery, me being probably drugged up on, uh, morphine or whatever I give you. And, uh... That's it, guys. Uh, hopefully everything goes well, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you later.